Now today we are at quite a special airport at London City to check out quite a special plane and that is the Avro or also called British Aerospace 146 whatever you want to call it. Now this is a short haul airliner and it's known for uh, its very special design as you can as you can see here uh, it is uh, a special one you can say. Now this is what it looks like uh, let's talk about why this plane even needs four engines and stuff. Now uh, we have quite a high quality add-on plane oh my goodness now yeah we are at London City for a reason because well Swiss for example the Swiss airline they use this plane a lot at London City now um, you know that London City uh, has quite a short runway damn this is accelerating very quickly yeah not all planes are able to oh my goodness yeah not all planes are able to operate here this is a very challenging airport but no problem for the Avro because that one is specially designed for short and rough runways which is really the purpose of this one and also the reason why this plane has four engines and yeah is that enough explanation why this plane has four engines and that whole thing allows this plane to operate on very short runways let's see if saint Bartholomew also works this thing is a very tough plane now unlike other planes we review on this channel this plane was extremely successful it was actually the most successful jet airliner made by the british All right so here we are at saint Bartholomew. let's see if we can take off it should not be really be a problem now 387 of this plane was made which is quite a lot actually that's that's really a lot especially again for a British plane and we are almost crashing actually that's not good it was a bit too close for my taste but we were able to take off now this plane is not very new but not very old either this thing had its first flight in 1981 and it's still being used even though British Aerospace stopped production of this plane in 2001 now airlines like Swiss they have retired Hired all their Avro fleet. They have replaced this plane with the Bombardier C series, which is definitely a good choice. Let's also see whether this plane can fly with only two out of these four engines or not. Now, by the way, I think I forgot to tell you about this T-tail design, which you also rarely see. Now, by the way, the Avro used to be sold in three versions, the RJ70, the RJ85, and the RJ100. And you know, the higher the number, the, you know, the bigger the plane, kind of makes sense, you know. Uh, this is the RJ100. This is the biggest version of the Avro. Let's just go ahead and go to quite a long runway and try this, shall we? Now, something that I do not want to forget to mention is that this airliner does not have reverse thrusters which is something kind of uncommon especially these days let's go to runway 04 right at Edwards Air Force Base now another thing that makes this aircraft quite special is that it's very quiet which you could already hear kind of especially in the cabin it's also called the whisper jet for that reason you know what let's just fail engine one and four the outer engines as i like to call it we got the failure menu let's just go for engine fail on one and engine fail on four and that's kind of all that is to it okay we only have two engines out of the four running as you can see let's just go ahead and take off oh, this airplane does not like it but we are forcing it to like it actually i think this should still not be a big problem i mean we're moving right now we're just not that fast because we only have 50 percent of the power hey we are almost at 100 knots we are close to rotate speed actually there we go now as you can see this aircraft does not necessarily require four engines or does it we are still not airborne oh we are now airborne okay that works oh oh oh, oh jesus christ yeah we have kind of uh gone for a belly landing now that's not good Okay, maybe this airplane does need four engines. Take off, please. Okay, so we are approaching an aircraft carrier right now because why not? Let's check out the stopping abilities of this aircraft. Now, by the way, there are also Avros used for firefighting. And I mean, if it works, right? Again, this plane is very tough. It can take off on short runways and land on short runways as well. Heart landing. Oof. Oh, no. That was a very interesting crash, you can say that. But this plane is definitely not a very quick stopper. That was a hard landing, followed by quite an overrun. Oh, rip these people there, but yeah, the Avro is definitely not carrier proof. And after all these years, this aircraft is still in service, which is kind of impressive. But we all know that four-engined aircraft are actually not super fuel efficient probably this aircraft had some trouble with that too you know just using two engines is a lot more fuel efficient which is why the airplane is being replaced by 
for example, the Bombard HT series right now, not T series, C series, which is not that much of a short take offer, but it can still take off at London City. So that still serves the purpose of the Avro. Oh, let's take off, please. Just lift off. That's good. Now, the safety of this plane is not perfect, definitely. There have been quite a lot of, oh goodness, quite a lot of crashes. We just uh, struck our wing, especially in the past, but there are way unsafer planes. Now, uh, while we have crashed, let's review the cabin, right? This is actually not too bad of a cabin. We have a very special seat configuration. You know, we have three seats on one side and two seats on the other side. That's interesting. But yeah, this is a regular short haul airliner. But this is a very interesting plane for sure. So yeah, guys, what do you think about this uh, very interesting plane? And I will see you tomorrow as always. Good night. Oh, no.